There's a second piece of the financial piece, which is so important on the technology, is that in fintech, the Chinese are actually way ahead of the West. Alipay, WeChat Pay, the combination with the digital renminbi, what they're doing on, on cryptocurrencies, they're, they're ahead. And that's partly because, in, I'll just speak for the U.S., our regulatory look at our fintech companies has been a royal mess. Because what you're seeing right now is some of the more responsible actors in the space are getting hit with, you know, the SEC, uh, SEC actions against them while others are out there doing who knows what. So the other part I talked about, which is the payment systems, kind of the rails that run the financial um the financial system of the world is that the West has been so dominant there that we say, okay, you want to send money from, you know, Switzerland to Nigeria. Well, there better be know your customer who's sending what to who, when there's a lot of regulations on that. All of this new FinTech stuff we're talking about, we're like, well, whatever, we'll go through Yuan. We'll go through currency pair through a cryptocurrency in here. And it's much cheaper, faster, better than, than Swift. And frankly, some American blockchain technology. I, I obviously have a I have a bias here because I serve on the board of Ripple, which is kind of our foremost blockchain company. It's just way faster, way better, more accurate, way cheaper than Swift. And we're not pushing our our technologies here, and so the Chinese are winning. So I think that piece is actually more important than in the short run than the dollar being the reserve currency, because it means we won't be able to do these swift sanctions again in a couple of years.